kind of like I, I'm just wondering, would Chantra help me, um, you know, cultivate more Shakti? I find that my Shakti kind of goes up into my heart space, you know, that I utilize it to just kind of find a deeper space in myself to kind of drop down into my my breathing body. But um, and I've used that kind of as a space that has been kind of self-realized rather than with another, if you get where I'm Right. Okay. I have never experienced Tantra with a man. Right. Ever. Okay. But, but I'm at a stage where it's like, I suppose when you come to the age of 44, it's a dangerous age for a woman because you're hormonally changing. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering, how do we, how do we cultivate the Shakti and the you know to 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 enjoy sex and tantra at an age when the libido is kind of dropping somewhat right because, you know i know we want my libido to drop <laughs> well yeah well part of it right go ahead i'm listening uh, a part of it is hormonal and i understand that's a part of the nature and that happens so these days we have access to uh, hormones and we can balance them uh, if we connect with the right uh, specialist so a part of it is that another part of it is very mental because you say like you're losing your libido but I bet if uh, Antonio Banderas shows up in your office you're going to have a lot of libido for him. <laughs> All of a sudden, your sexual energy comes back up again. You, you, you may not have that energy for the same guy you've been seeing for whatever number of years it is, but if someone new, attractive, sexy shows up, all of a sudden everything changes. So a lot of it is also mental. Yeah, no, I agree with that. There's a lot of kind of, um, there's a lot of shame and guilt around finding, about this idea or a notion of loyalty uh, to, to one person. And um, that's something that I struggle with because I am loyal, yeah? As in, like, my heart is loyal when I choose somebody. Right. To stay with that person. You know, so it's like, but I do kind of, I do find myself being attracted to other people, but you know, it's like the speaker part of me kind of shuts down a bit when I'm with somebody. Do you get me? Yeah, I understand. I get it. I get it. So you already answered your own question because, um, again, it's naturally when you meet other men, you get very excited. So, and then when you get very excited meeting other men, is that a bad thing? This life, yeah, this life force comes over. This excitement comes and takes over. So, what, how could that be a bad thing? But then we've been conditioned, all right, to believe that is a bad thing. Because we're conditioned to believe that you're supposed to be with one partner, you have to be loyal to them and uh, loyal to them. And if you're um, fooling around or you're attracted to someone else, there's something wrong with you and you're not good enough. But as you meet someone else, you get so excited and you feel life, you feel so alive. All of a sudden, you're fixing your hair, you're doing this, you know, you're picking up a little hair here and there, and, and you're paying attention to how you're dressing, and uh, you, maybe you start going to the gym, um, even though you don't, you're not having a fling with them, but just a new man showed up in, on your radar, and all of a sudden, you feel very energetic, and you feel, you feel very alive, lively. I can see how that is a bad thing, except we've been conditioned to believe that 
it should not be because I am with one person and I'm committed to them and I should not get excited over other people. So it's more a conditioning than the reality of the nature. So how do you break beyond that control? How, how do we what? How do we break that control? within ourselves, that limitation yeah. of mind. Yeah, by, by self-observation, by recognizing, the recognition that this is a conditioning of the mind and going towards your nature. What does your nature tell you? Because... Nature is very primordial. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, exactly. So... But this is an overall, this is a collective thing because it's very, first you start with yourself, but overall it's something that requires collaboration because let's say you are with someone, you're in a committed relationship with somebody and uh, they're not working on themselves, you're working on yourself. So... It's very difficult. You can't explain this to a partner that, hey, I'm getting really juiced up by other men and they really turn me on and I fantasizing about them or I want to have sex with them. Obviously, if someone's not working on themselves, they don't understand it because it's the old school mentality and they'll freak out. So a part of it is to liberate yourself and and go beyond shame and guilt, but also, if you're in a partnership with someone, it needs to be shared and it needs to be brought out into the light and, and be transparent. Uh, Kim? Hi, Kim. Do you want to uh, ask you your question and everybody else hears it? Sure. Hi. Hi, Kim. Yeah, good morning. Did you move to Florida, by the way? Okay, great, wonderful. So, all right, shoot, I'm here. Um, since I walked my spiritual path about five years ago, I noticed that I lost my um, desire for sex. I mean, probably at the same time, I'm 56. So is that part of um, menopause uh, time frame? Uh, is this something beyond the menopause or beyond my spiritual journey, being a Vipassana meditator and, uh, you know, um, can you, I, I also have a friend that is on the call, uh, going through the same, we're both married and we find ourselves having less uh, sexual desire. Right. I mean, okay, that, and that's a great question, a uh, subject to bring it up, because, um, that's fine too. I mean, if naturally you, you're you not inclined and in sexual activity or the thought of it or the desire, it's far out. It's like, great. I mean, that too is allowed to happen. If it's happening naturally, um, I don't see anything wrong with it. All right. Okay. Can you unmute yourself? Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not we're we're I'm my purpose of this uh like today's topic of the academy um uh, it's not condemning it in a way that you should have it or you should not have it. It's just to clear this illusion and and to bring the subject of sexuality and spirituality and marriage uh, into the light and really looking at it. But if the energy is not happening, then it's not happening. 